Hello and welcome. So happy you joined me today, friends. We're gonna be making some fusion spring rolls. We're gonna be grilling some delicious chicken and we're gonna to top it and fill it up. I said top it. We're gonna fill it up with all of our favorites. And before I get started, I wanna let you know that for the summertime, our upload schedule is Sunday through Wednesday. So make sure you set your notifications. And if you're interested in subscribing, we appreciate that. Now let's go over all these delicious, refreshing and wonderful ingredients. These are the ingredients I'm gonna be filling the spring roll with, but remember friends to always make it comfortable for your home. We have some salsa verde, we have some kidney beans. We're ready to mash it up and make our guacamole, sour cream, cheese, tomato, cucumber, lettuce, rice, spring roll wrappers, and some grilled chicken. I've been marinating my chicken overnight and the full ingredients used in this marinade is just pretty much put it in a cup, mix it around and then pour it into your chicken type of thing. And I'll list them in the description box area, uh, the details. I do have about five pounds of chicken, so that marinade is for about five pounds, okay? And what I'm using to marinate is this apple beer. It doesn't have any alcohol, caffeine, gluten. It's all natural. So if you guys are not too sure about how to marinate with beer, I think you guys would enjoy this one. So it ends up being, being more like a root beer, I guess, huh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> but it's an apple one. Uh, it has a subtle flavor to it and I really, really enjoy it in this chicken marinade. If so. you're gonna be using the marinades that I show you when I place it on the grill, those marinades are specifically for the grill. I do have other marinades that work well indoor or outdoor, but I think these marinades that have the beer and they're pretty much quick because even if you leave this marinade about 30 minutes to an hour, it'll still work for you. But those marinades require a mesquite uh, charcoal. So if you're using King Light or your gas grill, you're gonna get a different flavor. I definitely recommend you getting used to the mesquite one if you're comfortable with it, because this marinade with that combo of that smoky flavor and that char deliciousness, it is to die for. So let's head on over to the grill and continue with our grilling. Friends, my grill is really hot. You see that uh, orangey, <laughs> red fire there. The charcoals are lit. So we're gonna cook these for about six minutes or so on each side. Uh, take it easy and enjoy the grilling, friends. Place your chicken on your grill and you're gonna cook it for about five to six minutes on each side. If you're using the mesquite charcoal, okay? Right when they're done, I just bring them over here so they can keep cooking at a very lower heat. That's coming out through this side. Don't worry, guys, that one's fine. No giggle, nothing. What's your favorite? <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm going to continue to grill these and I'll meet you guys when we're ready to assemble. Yeah. With your little sheets, you're gonna notice that there's a shiny soft side and there is a gritty other side, okay? So you're gonna dip it with that side facing down, the smooth side, dip it into really hot water. And bring it down. Let me move this bowl to the side. Place your rice. And you want to keep start off with your rice when you're making these, so that way it doesn't tear through your uh, through your delicious spring roll sheet. Okay. I'm gonna add some avocado. One piece of grilled chicken. Your choice of beans. Your lettuce. Sour cream. And you want to make sure you add sour cream because that really makes this taste extra delicious. At least to me it does. Yes. I don't know about you, Claudia. Tell me. I think the sour cream and the avocado. Yeah. It's a good combo. Then you're going to add your favorite cheese. I have a Mexican blend. For salsa, I'm going to be using salsa verde. I like the way it tastes with chicken. But if you're using beef for this combo, I suggest you use a red salsa, which I'll link in the description box for you. Now, I want to know in the comments who's ready to roll. I'm ready. You ready? Okay. 
Let's do this. We're gonna make this snug as a bug in a rug. Really, you didn't say anything to me? What? Like, no, aw. Aw. Oh, much better. It's not like a broken record over here. <laughs> but you always say that. Oh. All right, so roll them up. Keep it rolling. And we're set. These are super easy to assemble and it's great to make it comfortable for your home, whatever ingredients you have. So if you have bacon and you can put a slice of that and you don't want to grill, you can do that. I just think that these are great recipes to have for the summertime when it's really hot outside and sometimes we don't even want to turn the burner on. So if you grill your chicken for the week for at least three of your dinner or lunch meals, this is going to be quick and easy for you to make. You wear the kids out and the family out, have them make their own and it's, it's not always that easy, but I think it's a whole lot of fun with the family. So I'm going to continue to make about 20 to 25 more of these because I have the small ones. So uh, hang tight as we get through it. As always, Views Club and Bell Notification Squad, you guys mean the world to us. Thank you guys so much for joining. Those of you that come within the first hour, we know who you are and we've built a relationship with you guys. Thank you so much for making this channel what it is. If you haven't taken the time to subscribe, please subscribe to this channel and also all of our social media, which you can find the links in our description area. And on that one, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye! Adios. I'm using salsa chitepin, Mexico lindo. So, so good. That's my favorite salsa so far. Yeah, I already poured some in there, but you guys know I get started sometimes. I get excited. You guys missed that taste test, didn't you? Don't forget to give me a thumbs up. I did. I did <laughs> Friends, for the little ones, let them have their rice. Let them have their chicken in here. And just make sure that they pick one veggie to place in here or else they can't have it. That's kind of, that's my rule, <laughs> right? <laughs> Enjoy. Yes? Yes. I got shy since I skipped out last time. I got shy to eat with you guys, but who am I kidding? No, I'm not. Yeah, who are you kidding? You didn't skip out. I watched you eat. I was worried. <laughs> I taste just like chipotle, but what is it? Less calories? No. Better. Oh, I can't talk about weight because apparently I talk too much about weight, guys. <laughs> wow. You're all beautiful the way you're built. Nobody fat shames on this channel. You guys we have don't. been asking how we lose weight. We've been sharing that, but this is not a weight loss channel. This is just not. balancing your food intake and being happy. Yeah, and cooking at home, you lose weight. I mean, whether you like it or not. Mm -hmm. And it's somebody said, we gain so much weight from your recipes. I'm like, how much are you eating? <laughs> you Chill. guys, after the fourth taco, you should probably not have the fifth. <laughs> <laughs> Unless it's a cabeza, you can go for five or ten on Taco Tuesday. We we indulge on Taco Tuesday, you guys know. And for tomorrow, I hope you guys are ready because it's going to be an easy recipe. And for those of you that watch this recipe, make sure to save a few pieces of that chicken because you're going to need it for tomorrow. Did you Tacos. say a few or a few? I don't know what I said. You are beautiful, no matter. You, don't what come they and say. don't come and colonize me, Cloud. Words don't come and call. Can Girl, so mexicana. <laughs> All right, you guys ready? This is a big bite. You ready for it? Dale. Well, they already seen me shove a whole taco in my mouth. You guys know that this is going down. Bye, right, guys. We're going to continue to make spring rolls with the babies. We're going to call them on down. Mm -hmm. They're too busy for us having a good old time. I'm happy they fit us in their schedule today. <laughs> yeah. I'm not that cool anymore. I need to... I need to make more snacks on the channel so that they can love me even more. Oh, we have a good one coming on Wednesday. 
Why don't you tell them? Okay, your tia ruined it for you guys, but we have an antojito coming this week. Make sure to click the notification. Ruined it? I'm getting them pumped up for it. That's yeah, like, but I'm more of a mom that wants to surprise you for a holiday. Not all kids like surprises. You know what? I have a lot of anxious friends, anxious friends, just like me. So yeah, we do have an antojito coming this week. You already know it's Taco Tuesday, but it's actually gonna be fun how I give you this taco. You guys are gonna like it. I hope you're ready. Yeah, bye.